Hey there you guys, today we're back, we're playing a little bit of the forest. We're starting out up here in the wooded area on the cliff. Uh, we haven't really spent a lot of time up here ever since we finished construction of the wall, um, which is a shame, because it's really nice up here, it's got its own little atmosphere, you know, the sun rising and all the shadows, and I like the idea of having our own little wooded area. Um, it has been getting smaller and smaller just slightly over time. Uh, the tree line outside of the wall, anytime we need logs, just it's it's forever getting further and further away and that increases the temptation to come up here and get some free wood um the ground here isn't particularly flat i don't really know what i want to do with this area but i do really like the idea of keeping a little slice of this heaven uh as part of the base but that is something you know to decide at a later date i mean we have an absolute ton of open space over here which has already been completely cleared out. I'm kind of sad that I went ahead and did that, but, you know, nothing to do about it now. Um, plenty of room to build another larger building over there, and maybe we can make something a little cozier over here. Who knows? Um, but that being said, I did go ahead and collect a ton of wood. I say a ton, it won't go. <laughs> it really probably won't last us long at all. Um, cause that's just how things go. I mean, even just building this building, I say even just building this building, this was expensive. Oh, hey, someone else out for a morning jog. Howdy neighbors. Um, is my wall doing its job? Did any of you get inside? How? How in the absolute hell? I swear every so often, I'm not sure if it's got, I think I've said this before, if it's got something to do with... The way that they spawn or the way that the walls work, like if I'm too far, far away, I really don't know. But every now and then, the, they get in here. Um, we'll deal with this in a moment. Or better yet now, if I don't, I will forget about it. Either way, um, today I want to do a little bit of work on the base since we just got got out of one of the caves um i don't necessarily want to get into building another large building quite yet what i thought i would do is deal with this situation it's basically been here and ugly since the moment that i built it uh they look i just don't like it i want um i want a better looking kind of garden area for more plants i mean i know we have Plenty of wall planters and blueberries and things up here, so we really don't need it, but it's more about the aesthetic. Um, so I want to tear those out. I kind of have an idea for something that I think might look good, and we can kind of uh, plot the area around here a little bit just to kind of make it look a little bit more lush since, I mean, we've devastated the area. Um, and I want to do something new with the rabbits. Wait, did I actually catch something? Wow. I don't remember the last time I actually caught anything. Um, but yeah, we we have plenty of rabbits now. In fact, we have too many. Um, you only need two inside of one of these cages, and then they have like a 10% odd chance every time you sleep to uh, spawn in another one. So right now we have too many. And But, I mean, can you really have too many rabbits? Not really. Um, so I want to kind of expand on this area a little bit. Um, this is honestly the first thing that rabbit was the first thing that this has caught in probably about 30 days of gameplay. I mean, we're on day like 70 something. So, I mean, pretty useless, but Hey, I mean, it's still putting in work, I guess. Uh, that being said, I want to clean up this area a little bit, you know, kind of between there and the wall, I want to basically just tie this spot up in a nice, neat little bow, get it looking nice, and then we can start moving on toward the plane uh, over there by the cliff and then eventually figure out what we're doing up in our little bit of a wooded area. So I'm going to tear out one or two things real quick, which means I'm going to have to adjust that setting. Um, I do have it set so that my buildings can't be destroyed. I only play, you know, every so often. Uh, I don't know why I'm bothering to explain myself. I think I did this once before. Um, but I put a lot of work into this, a lot of time. I don't like my stuff being destroyed. So that also means that I can't destroy it. 
So we'll have to adjust that setting, uh, rip out a few things, and then I'm going to throw together uh, one example of kind of what I'm hoping to go for here, and I'll see how it looks, and then we'll kind of go on from there. All right, so a little bit of time later, we kind of threw something together. It's simple, but it looks all right, I think. Um, it's just a custom foundation with a little bit of stairs. Um, working on expanding the rock paths just to kind of clear up a lot of the ground. Um, although that does kind of create the problem when you connect them like this. It, you kind of end up with this gap. I don't know, maybe we can figure something out to kind of put there. I, I have a couple other ideas, but we've been expanding uh, that a little bit. Uh, just kind of getting it to go most of the way around the house. Uh, we also did go ahead and fix this while we had the um, setting for allow building destruction uh, on. Uh, we've gone ahead and turned that back off. Although we really didn't need to do that. I, I knew this before I even started recording today because I've been watching a couple tips and tricks from um, one or two other people. Um, yet for some reason I can... See, this is what I'm talking about. How do they get in here? Um, well, I think I'm far enough away. I'm going to ignore it for right now. Anyway, if you go into your book and you get the hole cutter, uh, you can actually highlight things and basically just, like, here, I put this pole up here to show you. Um, it annihilates things. So that gives you, like, um, a little bit of a better chance to... Oh, man. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little distracted because uh, that guy's coming my way. Uh, either way, let's ignore him for a little bit. Um, yeah, we just set up this little bit of a platform, put a little lights and garden up there, a little bit of steps. It's simple, but it's nice. Um, slapped up a couple other ones, and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Uh, other than that, we fixed the stairs, we added a little bit of rocks. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just deal with this situation a little bit. Can you... Can you not? Thank you. Um, and it's getting dark, too. This is... This is lovely. Although it just seems to be the two of them, which is... Odd. But yeah, either way, things are starting to look a little bit nicer. I need to go ahead, finish up these last two platforms. And by the time uh, I get them done, I think it's going to look a lot nicer. Um, I am in desperate need of seeds. So that's something that we're going to have to go out and gather. Come on, Ben. Oh, he killed him. Nice. One less guy for me to worry about, I guess. Um, can you die before it gets dark? That would be really nice of you. Come on, man. But yeah, this is a perfect example of what I'm saying where I, I'm not sure if it's just because the walls, like, phase out if at a certain distance. If anyone knows, that'd be fantastic. That's my, that's my ongoing theory at the very least. Um, would make sense. Are you done? These guys are so tanky. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and give the old rusty axe a try. Oh, wait. Never mind. We seem to be good. Victory. Plus one for me. Um, never going to turn down a little bit of creepy armor. That being said, so yeah. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> that was a little all over the place. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then... Um, brainstorm for a little bit about the rabbit situation um i kind of want to continue the path uh from right around here um make it so that way we can actually kind of get to the gardens a little bit maybe uh continue along down this way i was thinking of building like a little bit of a rabbit home right here off the side of the building and i think that that might look really good so i'm gonna throw some things together uh, try and survive the night. Hopefully no more uh, locals spawn. And uh, yeah, we'll see what, what I come up with. All right, so the other two gardens have been completed. Um, we are going to definitely need a lot of seeds to really fill these in. Um, I'm thinking of just going with blueberry bushes because they're the easiest thing to get. I mean, I get them like absolutely crazy. I was already able to fill this one out. Um, I really just don't get enough 
of the other things. I mean, I've been trying and I've gotten one or two things that I've kind of put here and here and there, but I mean, it it's basically I need to find a better way to get seeds so that way I can really fill all this out. And then I'm going to have to of course replant all of this. I mean, we've got a lot of uh, seed gathering and things to do to really uh, liven the place up a little bit. We really need to figure something out with all these log sleds. Um, some kind of like a bay to store them. I don't really know. I mean, I want to build another building at some point where we can store a, a lot of sticks, rocks, logs, and things like that in bulk. So maybe that'll be the next project that we do. Um, I experimented over here a little bit with this bench. Um, it kind of fills in the gap a little bit. I'm not sure how happy I am with it. It's it's simple and it kind of makes sense that you know you'd like you'd come home or you'd get ready to leave. You'd sit down and like pop on or pop off your shoes or something like that. I don't I don't know. It just seems really simple, but I don't I don't know what else I could really put there. So I'm kind of at a loss. Um, we went ahead and added another one up here by this other gate just to kind of fill in that gap. Again, probably going to be temporary. We had this one, and I wanted to add kind of like a little campsite area. I think it turned out all right. It fills in the space, and it gives me an alternative place to save and sleep. So this I'm really happy with, but I can't really put those everywhere because then it's just going to look odd. So that'll that'll be something I'm going to have to figure out, but this I'm happy with. Um just one more little aesthetic thing to kind of fill in the space like, you know, this was. Um, we did extend the path and we added this onto the side of the building and I'm really happy with it. It's got a pretty decent amount of space in here that we can plop down our rabbits once we build some cages. It's lit, it looks okay, it fits on the side of the building really well. I, d I still don't know how to close those gaps, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, I really like the way it looks. It's, you know, yeah. I'm just, I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to have to build the cages, plop in some rabbits. Um, we have a pretty healthy amount. Um, this should allow us to, oh man, at least double or maybe even triple the amount of rabbits that we have. So that'll be exciting. Um, we really don't need any rabbits for anything, but I mean, why not? Why not go all out? So I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up. We'll take another quick look around as I close a couple of the other knots. Uh, figure out one or two other things and then uh, yeah that'll that'll kind of be it for today at least and then hopefully next time we can figure out something to do with a building because this is starting to look really empty I need to figure something out and I need to also figure out how to deal with a lot of the locals that constantly come and bang on my door so either way I'm going to close some of these knots and I'll see you guys in a bit I'm starting to believe that the game is trying to tell me something. This is the third time I've had visits from the big boys today, since I started recording at the very least. Come on, really? That's the third one. All I'm trying to do is wrap up my video, dude. All right. Come here. Or don't. I guess we're playing tag. Bam. Either way, um, yeah, we've been getting a lot of visits from those guys. I, oh, hey, look, another one. Fan-fucking-tastic. Um, well, he's chasing his own tail. Let's go ahead and just kind of wrap this up. Uh, the paths have been extended a little bit. I mean, I really wish we didn't have so many gaps, but it is what it is. Maybe we'll figure out something to do with that. Um, we didn't have enough rabbits to put two in every single one. And apparently I just don't get to record today. So that's pretty cool. Either way, uh, we should pretty soon, because um, you only need two rabbits. Uh, having more in the one cage doesn't increase the chance that they'll breed. So we should very, very soon be able to just fill these in because we've we've got a, a lot more rabbit cages. So this is all uh, got a nice little bow on it. Um, gardens are set up. Everything looks altogether pretty nice, although I think... Absolutely, the thing that I need to do is I need to take care of uh, some additional base defense because, oh great, oh great, um, this is getting a little insane to say the least. So either way, I'm going to go ahead, save um, just in case, and going to have to deal with this problem, I guess, um, but either way, that's... 
going to go ahead and be it for this one. I mean, no sense in keeping you guys around for the uh, the dirty work. I mean, one you, you fight one of these things, you fight them all. That's a blue spider, too. Those are a little bit stronger. So either way, I'm going to have to take care of this situation, maybe get myself a couple creepy armors. Hopefully I don't take too much damage. I really got to figure out what to do because this is the third time since I started recording today that they've gotten inside the base. But, you know, paths are getting there. Everything's kind of everything's kind of coming together. So base defense, that is that is basically where my priorities lie. Uh, at least at the moment, because I built I built this massive wall to keep these guys out, and it ain't. I mean, it it does its job, but it ain't. It it's not eliminated the problem. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Either way, that'll be it for that'll be it for this one. Um, I'll see you guys next time. We're gonna have to experiment with a couple of the traps and other things to keep keep. Did they just despawn, or are they just too far away? I don't I don't know. I've never really built very many of the traps so that's going to be um, kind of new and interesting for me at the very least so i'll see you guys next time peace